Elegant Title Animation Video Number no. Five. So here we are in Adobe After Effects again. So select this text tool and type text. I'm going to type motion. Hit enter and let's change the font. I'm going to choose Poppins font for this animation. Let's select this text. Press Ctrl Alt Home. Go to the Align tab, align it horizontally and then align it vertically. And I think we need to decrease the distance between these alphabets. And uh, you can choose another font like Nexa Bold. Now select this text. Press Ctrl Alt Home. Again, go to the align tab, align it horizontally and then align it vertically. Now we will do some animations, but this time we are going to choose different animations like let's go to the scale and this time I'm going to choose scale and let's increase the scale initially. Go to the range selector, create one keyframe at the start, zoom in a little bit and let's go to somewhere around 1.20 frames and let's make this 100 go to the start if you want you can increase the scale a little bit more and go to the advanced options and then as you can see we have separated several options over here like this and if you see over here there is one called random uh, random ionization render it's right now off if you enable this and now if you play this animation as you can see the animation is quite random so now what we need to do we need to select this keyframes we will hit f9 let's go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift let's move this handle over here and this handle over here like this now go to the add menu again choose properties and we will choose opacity and let's make this opacity zero again we will go to the add menu go to the property choose blurriness and choose blurriness to 40 so now if you see we will get something like this okay now select this text hit ctrl d let's hide this one and now i am going to select this text and let's type graphics select this text again press ctrl alt home go to the align tab align it horizontally align it vertically again and now we will go to the character menu and for the fill color i am going to choose black color and for the stroke color i am going to choose white color and stroke weight let's choose 2 and let's increase the distance between this let's say 0 maybe or let's say 10 like this now let's enable this motion we'll select this graphics word and press v and we'll move this over here like this okay right click new and create one null object select both the text and make it parent with this null one select this null one press s and scale it like this and let's move this over here now if you see we will get this kind of animations now uh, what we need to do we will select this motion text and we will choose a rectangle tool and we will create one mask like this on this one let's select this press m again go to the mask options and choose inverted mask and let's increase the mask feathers like this so we will get uh, we, it will look like it has some shadow over here and also we will follow the same procedure for this graphic text also so simply select this text and create one mask over here invert this mask and go to the mask one and let's increase the mask feathers like this okay and hit you like this so now if you see we will get this kind of animations and if you want you can move this graphics word over here so it will start to animate a little bit later and if you want to think that animation is too fast all you need to do simply select those keyframes and move forward like this so with the help of that we will get this kind of animation now let's go to over here select this null object press s and let's create one keyframe over here and one keyframe over here now go over here and let's initially increase the size up to 160 so it will automatically come down and if you want then let's make it 180 also now select those keyframe hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph let's hold shift and move this handle over here and move this handle over here so if you go and see this animation now we will get something like this so yep this is how you can create this kind of pattern animation which is uh, one beautiful idea and if you want you can change these colors like you can choose white 
below or something else so you get something like this so i hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial and if you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates and if you want to create some more interesting animations like this then check out these two videos i'll see you in my next video until then stay tuned